Hi everybody, I'm going to be doing a bit of an upgrade uh, DIY project today um, and I thought this might be useful for you to see it. Um, our caravan, like many others, doesn't have any USB sockets. What we do is when we're on site we plug in one of those mains adapters with a USB socket in it and we charge our phones from that, which is great when we're on mains hookup but when we're off grid obviously it doesn't work. So the other thing we use is the cigarette style adapters as well which is fantastic except we only have two of those in the caravan and one of those is occupied by the TV. So when we've got lots of devices, certainly Chloe's phone, Angela's phone, my phone etc or anything that needs to be charged up via USB we fight over the USB socket. So this is what we're going to fit into the caravan. It's a CBE modular style socket and as you can see here it's got a nice rubber grommet and it's got access to two USB sockets inside. One of them is a 1 amp and one is a 2.1 amp so it's going to be quick charge and not so quick charge but it means that it frees up a socket for us. Now as you can see it's got a rubber grommet on here as well to cover up the plugs when they're not in use. Uh, I'm going to remove that and I'll show you how I'm going to do that in a minute but this is a modular style socket and as you can see it will replace this uh, mains outlet with no problems at all but I'm not going to replace any existing mains or 12 volt sockets instead I'm going to replace something else which we never use in the caravan and I'll show that to you right now. Right this is what we're going to do we're going to fit it in here as you can see we've got a 12 volt socket with our television and satellite coaxial outlets and at the bottom we've got a mains outlet as well and then the middle here we've got these three connections which actually go into our radio and that allows you to play DVDs from the radio and then it puts the TV and the audio signal out here. So what we're going to do, because we never use it, we're going to replace that one in the middle. So what do you actually get when you purchase them? So this one cost me $16.99 from uh, eBay, uh, but they are available quite common and the link to this is in the description below. So what do you actually get? Uh, you've got retaining ring, the plug itself, the blanking plate and the rubber grommet. Now I've taken this apart because I want to actually remove this rubber grommet completely because I know it will just get snapped in place. So that's what we're going to get and I'm just going to refit it all in place like so. And this retaining screw at the back here just needs to be tightened up, nipped up nice and tight and it's dead easy. Like so. Now to make this fit into the space that I've shown you, what I've done is I've made up a cable and this is the cable here. What I've done here is I've used the crimp connections which came with the plug here, so the spade terminals fit on the back, but I've also got other spade terminals here which have a extra spade on them as well, which means you can piggyback existing connections. So what's going to end up happening is I'm going to plug that in, the cable into the back of the plug here, and at the other end I'm going to take the plugs off the back of the 12 volt socket using these spade terminals here, plug this in and then plug the 12 volt socket back onto here. And in terms of uh, extra tools you're going to need, you'll need a screwdriver um, and obviously something to crimp the cables with, but I'm also using uh, these tools here as well. And these are designed for the cars. Um, these pull off panels from inside cars. They're plastic, so they don't mark or scratch anything, which is perfect for inside the caravan. And I'm going to use this to pull the trim off right now. So it's dead easy to do. Using our trim tool, we're going to pull the trim away from the outside around. Being very gentle, of course. And this is why it pays to have trim tools like this, so that you know that you're not going to break or scratch anything. Like so. That exposes the interiors. And then just using a screwdriver, we're going to take off the four screws around the plug. Like so. And as you can see, it's already loose anyway. So I'm just going to unplug the phono leads from the back, which we're not going to use ever again. And there we go. That's now the hole exposed. Newly made up connection. We just need to place this in here like so. So let's get it started with one screw in the corner. I'll go for the one that I can't see because, you know, <laughs> being backwards and all. 
eventually. So I've just started one off there, but I have not, have you noticed, put all the way in. I've just put it in halfway at the moment. And then using the other corner gives me enough room for manoeuvre to get the other one in as well. So that's what I'm going to do there. Now these don't need to be super tight because they're not going to be holding much in in terms of tension. There we go. Good. All right. And then we're just going to fit the trim back on like so. And there we go. That's it now fitted from this side. What we've got to do now is fiddle with the wiring on the other side. So let's reposition the camera. So what we're going to do is we're going to piggyback off of these two connections here using our new lead that we've made up right here. Now in this case you can see that there is no red and black on this plug at the top here. It's yellow and white. Well I can tell you that yellow is positive and white is negative. I know that already because I've already tested this. If you're unsure on your wiring please check it with a multimeter to make double sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to unplug this here. So we're going to pull these connectors off and then our red cable which is here and our black cable we're going to plug that straight onto here and because we've got the two spade terminals left over we plug the yellow one and the white one onto those. So let's do that now. Now I've changed my mind on how I'm going to do this because what's happening is we're quite close to these coaxial connections here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit the blue end onto here and it'll be nicely insulated as well. Right, it may not be super obvious here, but uh, we've got the, the plugs on the top there which go into the corresponding sides. This is the negative side, but as you can see, by the time they get down to the bottom, they actually cross over because of the orientation of the USB socket down below. Now you do need to make sure you get it around the right way. If you don't, well, it just won't work. Um, there is diodes inside, so it just won't work. So uh, make sure it's correctly wired up. And that's it. That's that wiring now complete. So all you need to do is test it. So that's all that's left to do now is to test it. So I'm just at the other end of the van now. I'm just going to hit the master switch. And as you can see here, I've got the blue light on and that shows me that that little, little USB socket is working perfectly fine. And then just to prove that this socket that we've already got is working, I've just plugged in one of those uh, USB little chaps as well into there. And that's it. A really inexpensive, but really worthwhile upgrade to our caravan. And this is going to make a huge difference to us. Right, there we go, guys. I hope that's useful for you. I hope that's shown you how you can add a USB socket into a caravan. Certainly, there's facilities on this caravan which we were never using. So it just makes sense for us to reuse that plate. Now, you can add these additional plates into anywhere around the caravan, to be absolutely honest with you. Uh, they're really quite useful. Because they're modular, they're designed to fit anywhere. And you can get the shrouds which cover up two or three uh, plates as well. So it looks a very professional and a very neat job. So I hope that's been useful for you. Any questions or any comments, feel free to put them down below. And there we go. See you next week. Take care now. Bye-bye.